Good morning, everybody. It's cold today. It's cold every day. Right. I need to go. Hi. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, I'll stay, don't worry. Take two. The internet man had to come. Because we've got shit internet to make that upload my videos quick enough. I need to go get petrol. Remember? Run out of petrol. Which is annoying. Uh, so we're going to go get petrol and then we're going to get a haircut because I have two photo shoots tomorrow. One with oxygen models in London. Not sure how to explain that more. Uh, and then another one with Mass, the Muscle Athletic Sports Society for all the universities in the UK because I won the Mass SPC, which is a student physique competition earlier on this year. So they want to do a photo shoot with me uh, and with the guy that came second because he is a Don. Daniel, I'm watching you. It's going to be good to see you tomorrow. Um, we might get some food. I don't know if I'll, be, if I'll allow myself some food because I'm quite close to this competition. Um, but it is a refeed tomorrow, so we'll see. I'm just gonna go do cardio after my haircut, which you don't need to see because it's the same old shit, different day. And then I have a shoulder and back workout, and it's a nice workout as well. I really like it. So, oh, I've also got work at 3 till 9 30, so a very busy morning, afternoon again. Anyway, I'll stop ranting. See you later. Before, after. Right, I just arrived at the gym. Um, 40 minutes of cardio. I will see you when I get back. I'm not gonna film any of it because what is there to film at the end of the day other than me watching YouTube videos and having a little think. Yeah, I am done. 40 minutes. I was absolutely dying today, so I did 20 minutes on the stepper, and then I did 10 minutes, no, and then I did like 13 minutes on an incline walk, and then I did like another four minutes on the stepper, and then like a final two minutes on the incline walk again. I just couldn't do it. I had to keep breaking up because I was dying. I'm just going to quickly talk about the Facebook post I'm making. For those of you that don't follow my Facebook page, this is my Facebook page. Um... I'm going to talk about how many calories you need to eat and for those people who don't know or don't want to count calories and don't want to you know, weigh every single bit of food that they eat or uh, have to log in on MyFitnessPal or any other app so people that don't want to do that but want to get results here is my quick tips number one don't worry it's all going to be okay number two if you want to gain weight eat more if you don't gain weight eat a bit more again if you don't gain weight after that you keep adding food in slowly and slowly and slowly it's much more healthy to do it slowly guys so it doesn't give your system a shock if I'm used to eating 2,500 calories every single day and I suddenly bump it up to 3,500 calories a day I'm gonna get fat and I'm gonna gain unwanted fat so instead if I'm eating 2,500 calories a day I'll put it up by 200 you know a week and then I'll slowly build into it or 100 a week or 50 a week you know building up slowly is very very healthy your, metal your metabolism will get faster your body will get used to the amount of food very very easily because the body's very clever but a big dump of calories will offset it vice versa if you're trying to lose weight and you're not losing weight try try reduce the amount that you eat smaller portions preferably take it from carbs before maybe put your fats up a tiny bit but smaller portions. If you don't lose weight, smaller portions. Again, if you don't lose weight, smaller portions. If you do it gradually, it is much more healthy. If you eat 2,500 calories a day, take it down by 1,000, you will suffer. Your hormones will suffer. Your moods will suffer. Your workouts will suffer. So that is not what we want to do. That is not the healthiest thing to do. It's not the most efficient thing to do. Lose weight, nice and gradual. Gain weight, nice and gradual. The key is, gradual and consistency guys if you do it day in day out slowly building it up you will 
but trust me, you will feel the benefits of it. This is what I do with all my clients. I start off on a good amount of calories, something that they're gonna be healthy with. And then from there, I'll slowly reduce it as the body will get used to it, as the body loses weight, your metabolism gets a bit slower, and opposite, your metabolism gets faster. So you have to add in food, and you have to take away food, and you have to do this in the right ways at the right times. You know, you can't just suddenly pile it all in at breakfast, you have to spread out through the day, different times, depending on when your workouts are, depending on what kind of person you are. Um, all of it varies, you know, if you can't handle carbs very well, then you're not gonna throw in a shitload of carbs when you're trying to bulk up, you're gonna add in fat, you're gonna add in a bit more protein, etc., etc. So if you do wanna get in contact, guys, with regards to meal plans, workout plans, or combination plans, here's my email. <laughs> was a fail. Um, and just get in contact. Uh, and if you just want some advice and not a meal plan or anything like that, then you know what, get in contact, I'm still gonna help you because, you know, Spreading knowledge is the foundation of the world. <laughs> cool, I'm pulling up home, which is there. I've got to go up the hill, turn around and pull in because my driveway is a motherfucker. Um, and we'll see you later, peace. What's up people? We are back with another side-by-side -side or a little box in the corner. Not sure how it's gonna look, but we'll see. First up on this shoulder and back workout, a wide grip shoulder press, so we keep our Shoulders retracted, our lower back in, our chest out, and we push straight up above our head. Start in front and push straight up above the head. And this just really puts emphasis on the delts, all the delts, pretty much, to be honest, and traps. Um, nice and slow on the way down, really fast on the way up. Moved into a close grip pull down. Um, oh, the first one was five sets of eight. This is also five sets of eight. Um, close grip pull down, focusing on not releasing the tension off the lat so we don't fully extend so the lat relaxes we don't stop here so the, the lat relaxes we keep the constant motion and we don't fully extend we don't fully contract always pulling with the lower back the christmas tree um and really working the lats very very heavily we moved straight on to incline no one arm press and we just this is a real big hit to the central nervous system so you come up one arm, one arm, one arm, one arm, one arm, one arm. Uh, this really puts a lot of stress through the central nervous system and the delts as well. Uh, allows you to get a real good focus on one delt at a time. Uh, and also, the tension is always there as you keep the, the dumbbell above your head. So, more time under tension equals more muscle fibers broken. Uh, next up, we moved on to one arm lat pull downs. This is perfect for really isolating your lats and bringing up maybe one lat's bigger than the other or something like that. So if you ever have imbalances in your body, do one arm and then the other arm, do the weakest arm first. So nice and slow on the way down, full extension on this one. So we are taking a little bit of tension off and then we're going bang, straight in, arch back, and we're pulling with the entire lat from the top to the bottom of the lat. Uh, and your lats connect right down to your waist. So you wanna make sure you are pulling all the way down with your elbows, not with your hands, not with your biceps, but with your elbows, so you're pulling down. So it works on that straight into lateral raises, um, just lateral raises, you know how it is. Pretend like you're trying to pour out, if you've got a glass in your hand, you want to pretend like you're pouring it out, and that just puts more tension on that medial delt. I don't know if it's called the medial delt, but the delt in the middle, anterior delt, I don't know, one, one of the delts. Uh, we moved into a low row, and again, back in, do not cave in like this, back in come down and you want to pull into your waist guys. If you pull into your waist, it's going to target that lower back, which is what I'm trying to bring out at the moment. So don't pull in up here, don't pull in down there. Pull in straight into the waist. Uh, move into front delts. This is just straight up bar, retracted, straight up. Uh, make sure no swinging like this. Just straight up, stop there and pull straight up. Then we move into erector raises. I don't know what you want to call these, reverse, uh, glute ham raises is what it is, but we're doing it, but we're putting all the isolation on the lower back, not the glutes, not the hamstrings, just the lower back. Completely bending, completely flexing, like this. Flexion, bang. Really pulling hard, and that is the end of this workout. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like.